So a company called What Geek reached out to me about making some content for them, and they decided to send me an AJAZZ AKS 68. I've never used an Alice style keyboard and probably wouldn't have sought one out for myself, but it did have an ambidextrous B key, which would have been a deal breaker for me. So they sent it out and lo and behold, I was pleasantly surprised with the quality of this keyboard. Not only was it a good layout and even had the knobby bits, but it also had a polycarbonate plate with so many flex cuts that it was a challenge to put together. Once I figured out the pattern to fill the switches from the bottom, it wasn't too hard to put together. The switches were AJAZZ Sea Salt Linear Switches, which are compatible with Kale switch openers, and the keyboard was also VIA compatible. AJAZZ has really done their homework on this one. Not only do they have a silicone plate dampener and PCB foam, they also had apparently dampened the case. It intrigued me enough that I wanted to take it apart to be sure. Two broken guitar picks later, thank god they didn't put any screws under the feet, and the case was fully disassembled. Not only did it have a layer of case foam, but it also had a silicone dampener that separated the PCB and daughter board from the case and battery beneath. I like that I didn't have to use a screwdriver at all on this one. This keyboard is currently on sale for $49.99, but is usually $89.99, which is insane. Some other builds that I've done had switches that cost double the price of this entire keyboard. This is what it sounds like. Overall, I'm very impressed with this keyboard, and although it's a plastic case, they put a ton of development into making it fully featured, well thought out, comfortable, functional, and cost effective. What Geek has provided me with a coupon code. The code is JOEL10 to get a discount at checkout. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one.